I feel like a lot of the students that take the drama course in Year 11 and 12 can tell you that it is lots of fun. It's not sitting down and writing the whole time. Even if you choose ATAR, it's 50-50 practical and writing. So while you will be doing some written work and some responses and stuff, uh, do scripted work, do writing, your own stuff. Even the general courses is 70% practical and 30% written, so that's even uh, less writing. And I feel like a lot of students think that it's a bit of a bit of relief coming into drama after they've just had like maths or English where they're having to sit down and write a lot or sitting down and uh, listening and stuff. This is all about creating and, and you get really creative with drama. Uh, so, I mean, there's skills that you can use in any aspect of your life. Public speaking, for example, everyone at some point is going to have to make a presentation and deliver it to a lot of people. In drama, we focus on projection, the right tone and pitch in your voice. Um, and you become a really confident speaker. Confidence is another thing that you, you build just through doing drama, through putting yourself on stage or putting yourself in front of a bunch of people, presenting something. Um, it's always a bit nerve-wracking, but it builds up that confidence that you need. A lot of people think that it's just going into TV being an actor, which you can definitely do, or being a theatre performer on stage. We've seen a lot of people from this school uh, make it in the drama world. My drama studies at Leeming um, actually ended up with me going to WAPA, which is a art school in Perth. Um, it's in ECU and I'm doing a majoring of costuming. Um, my drama studies specifically led me that way by allowing me to see how costuming works in performance, I guess. It's an, a very unique experience that I don't think you can get in any other subject, being able to be creative and and really challenge yourself in that way is, is really special.